Well, it's been a bit, <laughs> but I'm finally here with another video. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. The reason I wanted to do a closet clean out was because when you recover from an eating disorder, your body naturally changes. So a lot of the clothes I had beforehand don't fit me anymore. And it's an awesome thing that they don't fit me anymore because honestly, those are my sick clothes and we don't want those anymore. No way. So get rid of those clothes that don't fit me anymore. Get rid of the clothes that don't bring me any joy and bring me anxiety. So <laughs> strap in, get ready. It's gonna be an experience. It's a little stressful, a little anxiety provoking, but we're here for it. We're along for the ride. Just gotta sit with those feelings, process them a little bit. So let's get right to the closet clean out. Yeah. So we're gonna start with the sweater area. Mm. And let's pull out some of these clothes. Um, yeah, not gonna keep this. This is so cute, but it just doesn't bring me joy. And it brings me a little bit of stress. So, goodbye. No, cute, but no joy. Anxiety, out this for a while and part of these clothes I'm like I just don't want to wear them anymore and I haven't thought about them and they're just taking up room in my closet so <laughs> goodbye my voice just cracked <laughs> goodbye <laughs> and if you guys see any of these clothes that you would maybe like to wear this is a nice little pink turtleneck i got it in england and that was definitely when i was at my sickest so we're gonna <laughs> say goodbye to this guy but if you see any of these clothes and you want them hit me up head to my socials link down below and send me a message and i'll happily give them to you so let's go a little time lapse <laughs> finished product on the sweater side of my closet uh, it's a lot emptier now <sighs> feels so much better so much lighter um, and quick fun fact I'm pretty much not trying any of these clothes on I don't I don't want that stress I know that I wore them beforehand when I was heavily in my eating disorder I just don't want to bring that anxiety upon me like having tight clothes is a big trigger of mine and so if I know I wore it beforehand I'm just gonna get rid of it I just I don't want to I don't want to deal with trying it on and hoping and seeing maybe if it'll fit me no that's not part of the process if I see it and it brings me anxiety it's gone also just really quickly people have asked me recently like I sound like an influencer. A lot of people have been asking. <laughs> no, people have been asking me like why I've been shopping so much. And it's because of this. I've had to completely redo my whole wardrobe. I need all new clothes. I can't go on the streets naked. Like <laughs> not in my birthday suit, that's not happening. So I've had to get a lot of new clothes. And for all those people who have been asking, I've been getting a lot of new clothes because you just saw it. I had to clean most of my closet out. And I thought I got rid of all my clothes before I moved from San Diego to here, but I haven't. I still have quite a few clothes that I don't need, I don't want. So thanks for joining this ride. Thanks for coming to that little PSA. All right, so let's move on to the shirts and pants and sweater section. <laughs> here we go. On the shirt side. This side is probably a lot lighter. Um, because I cannot get the angle right. This is a, the problem of being such a small YouTuber is I don't have any help trying to set this up. So I'm gonna do a little squatting. So you can see this <laughs> face. Um, so most of my shirts I've already gotten rid of, but I'm sure there's still room to improve and get rid of some of these. So cue time lapse. Let's see how many we can get rid of. So I got actually got rid of a lot more than I thought I would. So go me. <laughs> Thank you, anxiety, for leaving the closet. Hello, Han. So I'm gonna actually move on to my work clothes. I wanted to clean out my work clothes like before I moved from San Diego to Orange County. But I was like, you know what? They probably fit me, but now I'm thinking about it. And I was thinking about how sick I was during my work year, and it still brings me a lot of anxiety. That's where 
it just got bad and that's when I really needed the help. So a lot of these work clothes just remind me of that rough time for me. And I feel bad because honestly, my mom spent a lot of money on these clothes and I really like them. It just doesn't bring me joy, it brings me anxiety. So we're gonna get rid of a lot of them. Sucks. And it's just better for me this way. So let's do some more clothes, yay. sad to get rid of they just don't fit me anymore these are my beta brand work pants and they were so so very comfortable and i love them worth it if you guys want them hit me up please they're so nice <laughs> they just don't fit me anymore <laughs> that's okay i don't want them to fit anymore they shouldn't fit anymore i'm past that that was old me and this is new me so quick PSA I said if you guys want any of these clothes to hit me up but I'm not gonna tell you the sizes because you don't need to know that I don't want to say them out loud so if you are interested in them and want to know what size they are send me a private message and I'll happily share that's it I'm gonna get rid of these jeans um, actually a little triggering moment for me I tried these on probably like a couple months ago um, and they didn't fit and that put me in kind of a down rolled spiral. I, because I tried them on and they didn't fit, I engaged in behaviors. They, I bought these jeans at, towards the end of program and I thought that's when, you know, my body was done changing and honestly it wasn't done changing. And so trying these on later and having them not fit was, <laughs> it was quite triggering. That's why I'm not trying these clothes on because of that triggering experience and then it led me to engage in behaviors which I don't want in my life so we're just going to get rid of them. All right folks while I keep mentioning it in this episode that you can hit me up on my socials if you want any of these clothes and I just wanted to give a quick PSA and let you know that I have attached pictures of most of the clothes. If you are interested and want to check them out they are at the end of this video and if you see one you like hit me up on my socials so that's my PSA and let's get back into this awesome episode. Here's a prized possession that uh, I would love for somebody to have. It's this Lulu jacket. Super cute, super fun, nice little active wear. So hit me up if you want it. It's a nice Lulu, it's a steal that I'll give you for free. All right, so we're coming up to my old workout, cold weather running gear. I hate to get rid of it because when I go home to my hometown, it gets chilly in the morning and I need something warmer to wear, but we're not gonna have these anymore. So <laughs> that'll be next on the list of things to get. Hint, hint, mom, if you're watching this, I could use some new cold weather workout gear. Hint, 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 hint. I know big mom and dad is closed, but help a sister out, you know? I love this jacket. It's. It's so nice, so bright for those dark and cold California mornings. Yeah, sorry, goodbye, goodbye. Oof, I feel so good. So I'm gonna get rid of this jacket. I really don't want to, it just, I did try this one on because I was like, it could or it could not fit. It's one of my favorite jackets. It's a little too tight and I don't, I don't want that, so. You want this nice jacket? It's so cozy. It's so cute. Hit me up. Let me know. <laughs> Thanks. Also, this jacket I really want to keep. It's a nice, like, Eddie Bauer rain jacket. And I would love to keep it, but I wore it the other week when it was raining, and it was too tight on me, and I don't want that. So if you need a nice rain jacket, don't know what this uh, accent is, eh? But uh, we're gonna go with it. Let me know if you want that jacket. It's really nice. All right, so I cleaned out my drawers and uh, this is random workout shirts that I'm not gonna wear anymore. So goodbye, goodbye, bye, 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 bye. And also some of the stuff I'm getting rid of because when I moved, I was like, I might wear these, and it's been now ooh, six months or so, and I haven't touched them, so. They're just taking up space and we're gonna we're gonna get rid of them and that's how it is 
All right, this is all my clothes I'm gonna get rid of, like, wow. And geez, Louise, look at all that stuff that just was taking up space in my closet and no longer brings me joy. I'm gonna, hiya. If my friends are watching this and they got to that point, good on them, good on them. But anyways, yeah, that's about it. And thank you for tuning in. And please, please, please let me know if you want any of these clothes. If not, I'll just give them away. Thank you for watching this. Thank you for my friend for giving me the, this idea. I highly, highly suggest you guys do this. You all have clothes in your closet that you have not touched in a very long time. And it's just taking up space. So do a little perusing. It honestly didn't take me that long. So... I suggest you do it. It's a great exercise, a great experience. I'm feeling a lot lighter now. I feel so, so, so much better. So much more relieved having these out of my closet. They're gone for my life. And yeah, that's a wrap on this week's episode. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to connect with me on socials or message me for any of these clothes. They are linked down below. And I'll see you guys next week. Thanks again for tuning in. Yeah!